welcome Ophiosis. This is your year 2021. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Ophiosis. Let's go in your reading. Wow, Ophiosis. Wow. All right, Ophiosis. Um, this year um, for you guys is going to be a really wonderful positive alignment of energy. I see a lot of you in the center and this year is where money, some sort of a balancing with your materialistic stability. The eight of wands is as if some of you are not getting enough work in some sort of an emotional situation. And it has to do with um, some sort of an issue that you're going to be having to deal with in this year. But don't worry about it because you're going to be resolving a lot of the problems as uh, you get out of uh, the year. So um, this year is going to be a year where a lot of you are dealing with situations, turning your back on a corporation institution um, is coming up in the um, crown of your year where some of you could be walking away from your job or walking away from a business or walking away from a company. I see some of you have had enough. Um, it is a year of, uh, of passion, passion. Whatever is coming up, you start the year off uh, protecting yourself. It is a uh, passion, protecting your heart, protecting your kids. So um, that is coming up. And at the crowning, a lot of you are going to be walking away from a company, a job, and uh, you are going to be resolving some sort of a problem issues that was created in your world. The hardship is going to be over. This year is as if uh, you're coming in this year, protecting your heart, protecting your kids, uh, and whatever hardship you are dealing with, it is going to be coming to an end. I see some of you had some sort of an issue with um, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person, um, this could be some sort of a uh, issue with a scorpion man. It is going to be coming to an end. It could have been your boss in a corporation institution that created some sort of a problem for you. I see an end is coming in for this person and an end is coming in for the problems that this man had created for a lot of you. Of you. So, so you could be ending a contract for this man or ending some sort of a business endeavor for this man because this man has created some sort of a problem. So you're standing strong in this year, protecting yourself uh, and uh, whatever hardship that um, um, a boss or a a scorpion man has created for you, a scorpion and a cancer man has created for you is going to be resolved because it's as if you realize that these two men had work against a lot of you and you are standing your ground and making sure that you are coming out of this year um, bringing balance to the deceptive play of a scorpion and a cancer man for some of you. So this is going to be powerful. It's going to be a powerful year. And he says, if you all feel this are saying, hey, 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 I'm ending this. This is not taken. This is not going to be going in the next year. I'm going to be releasing myself from um, this contract uh, or these group of people who have created a whole lot of mess uh, for me. So this is going to be absolutely wonderful. I see a lot of you, Ophiosis, are going to be accessing um, some sort of a stability for yourself and the hardship is going to be over. Let's look at the month that you should look at and be aware of. That is the month of April where you could be having some sort of an issue um, with taxes and that sort of a thing, but you're going to be able to balance it out. It is a scorpion man who had created some sort of a problem. You will be balanced it out. Um, emotional situation, the eight, the energy of a hardship is going to come to an end. Um, some of you are going to be standing your ground. A lot of you are going to be standing your ground. Money is going to be coming in 
infinity, stability, and abundance is going to be coming in in the third um, quarter. And whatever hardship you are going in um, is going to be over. So this is going to be good. So the months to look out for is April. April, you're dealing with a corporation institution, and that's the only thing to look out for. Some of you are standing against a corporation institution. You're really looking out for yourself. You're taking back your power from this corporation institution. And this is going to be good. Emotional situation where I see a lot of you are going to be walking away from your cancer boss and walking away from something that they have offered you. You're going to be saying no to this. So the only month to look out for is the month of April. So let's see what is coming up in January. In January. You're protecting yourself. You're standing your grounds and protecting your heart and protecting your kids. Especially protecting your heart. And then I see you're standing your ground against a corporation institution or someone in a corporation institution and protecting yourself from this corporation institution and really showing up for yourself, okay? And this is going to be good. So it's a fire sign. You're coming into this year with a fire sign, but it's a fire sign where you're protecting your heart and standing your ground. In the month of February, another fire energy, which is good. So you're um, really having fire within you and you're standing up against injustice and equality. February. You are standing up and balancing out some sort of a problem and issue that was going on and ending it. You decided no more. No more. And this is going to be very good because you are really showing up and showing up what was happening. And really standing um, against in equality and injustice. Now, as we get to March, that is going to be very emotional for people who have kids, for people in relationship, you could be walking away from your relationship, a hardship in the problems or hardship with kids could be resolved in the month of March. So, Ophios is going to check out what is your quarter reading in order to see what was coming up for your quarter reading. So, um, and you will realize that in uh, the month of January, you have fire in your, in, in, in yourself and in the month of uh, February, hmm, you are standing your ground. So you're not backing down. And in the month of March, it is a month of new love. Some of you could be having a baby in the month of March also. As we look at April, and the second quarter, you're dealing with a corporation institution. Um, you're trying to balance out some sort of a problem and bring an end to it. So a lot of you could be, de be dealing with a bank and financial institution. Some sort of hardship, some sort of a problem that this, this uh, bank or financial institution had created for you. And you're going to be bringing that balance in your world and balance between you and this corporation institution in order to resolve some sort of an issue that was going on. So the first six months is looking really good. And the first um, six months is going to be about your financial stability and really bringing back some sort of a instability that was going on. And uh, as you get to the month of June, you're going to be ending whatever hardship problems that you were dealing it could be paying off your mortgage paying off a car loan paying off some sort of a loan 
but you're going to be very successful because you're standing your ground. And I see you're going to be ending whatever the issue or problem that was transpiring. You're going to be resolving it and you're going to be feeling um, financial freedom as you leave the first half year. As we look at the second half year, I see in the month of July, you're dealing with turning your back and moving towards a new start for you. And this is going to be good. Um, in August, uh, um, so um, August, uh, it's going to be quiet, quiet in business for you in August. So, and some of you could start a new business. It's going to be quiet. Some of you could be ending um, a work project or a, a, a project or some sort of a, a project you were working on is going to be coming to end in March, in uh, September. September is where you're bringing balance and creating some sort of a new start and endeavor for you. So this quarter, July, August, and September, July is going to be emotional because you're walking away and turning your back on a company. August is going to be slow. But in the month of uh, um, September, you're going to be ending a situation and looking forward to a new beginning. And this is going to be positive. Whatever hardship that you were going through, you're going to be bringing balance to that in September. And this is going to be positive. As we look at the last three months of the year, what is happening in transpiring? In the month of July, um, October, something that happened in July, October, you're going to be successful. So let's say that you had some sort of a problem um, with a corporation institution in April. In the month of July, you're going to be turning your back. And in the month of October, you're going to be very successfully overcoming what this corporation institution have done. Celebration in October. Happiness and joy in October. Where you're, you are so happy that you make some sort of... Whatever decision you made in July, October, you're going to be happy that you made a decision. Moving forward to the month of um, November. Month of November, you're dealing with a emotional person or a emotional situation. Or you could be emotional, especially if you're an older person. You could come very emotional in the month of uh, um, November. But this emotional situation needs to be dealt with. And... Uh, if you are married to a scorpion, you could be ending the marriage. Yep. You could be ending the marriage. Whatever is happening, you could be ending the marriage. Then when we look at uh, December... The emotional situation you are dealing with, you're ending it in December. You're like, I've seen this, I've done this, and I'm letting it go. And resolving everything that was transpired. So, life is going to be returning. And emotional problems, emotional Issues you are dealing with is going to be resolved. And you're going to be so aesthetic because you know exactly what you want when you become, um, when you come in the month of December. And this is going to go. So emotions flare up in October, but it's going to be positive emotions. Being successful over a scorpion man 
that has created so much injustice for a lot of you. Taking back your power for the scorpion man and showing the scorpion man that I can do without you. I am capable enough for, to create my own stability. Showing the scorpion man that, you know, whoever you are and whatever you have done, I'm overcoming the problems you created for me, whether it's your husband, whether it's a, a family member, whoever this person is. So if you notice, this is really a beautiful, beautiful year because it's as if uh, you all feel this are realizing, yeah, I end this relationship, I end this situation and I'm okay, I'm fine because I can make it on my own. So when we look at the overcoupling, it is um you're you you you're protecting yourself, standing your grounds against a corporation institution, walking away from some sort of a deceptive plane, being very successful, and you are at peace with yourself. You're bringing balance back in your world and ending um issues, conflicts, problem that was created for you. You are now understanding that your world, you create. A, um your world there is no question about this you are going to be um shedding light so when we look at uh, uh, starting this year it is uh, um the fire energy within you um standing your ground taking back your power showing a corporation institution listen i can walk away and yet still be able to create some sort of a, a normality stability happiness and joy in my world whatever the financial situation you were dealing with and the financial hardship that some of you were going through as you get to june september especially in june you are going to be ending this hardship this hardship this problem that was created you're going to be ending this and um some of you are having some sort of a problem with um a um uh, uh, Taurus man who have created some sort of a problem. You're bringing an end to this Taurus man and is taking back your power. And this Taurus man could be coming up as a, a businessman. It could be coming up as your boss. It could be also coming up as someone in a corporation that created a whole lot of issues and problem. But yet still, you're in like, you know, um, you're going to be successful because I see you stand your ground and you're going to be successful. I see you're protecting your, um, you know, your wealth and your stability and you're going to be successful. So whatever that is coming at you in this year, you're going to be able to resolve them um, right away. So it's as if anything that come to create any imbalance, you're going to be able to resolve it in such a um, a fast pace and you're going to be uh, very very happy from sort of an emotional news that is going to be coming in um, in the month of March is going to let you decide to, uh, to turn your back on a corporation and uh, you know end whatever the situation whatever hardship that people had created and blocking your um, materialistic wealth or stability you're going to be overcoming this uh, you're bringing an end to a scorpion man, whoever the scorpion man is and whatever the scorpion man has done to some of you. A scorpion and a cancer at work against you and I see an end is coming in for this cancer man or an end is coming in to um, this scorpion man because it's as if they are going to be blocked and uh, they can't do any business anymore because you Ophiosis has realized so. Uh, the injustice that they have created um, and uh, is, uh, re, uh, re empowering yourself by taking back uh, your powers from these people and what they have done to you. So, Ophiosis, this is a powerful year. Um, you, Ophiosis, are um, changing the guards of how people and situation was transpiring. You're protecting your kids. You're protecting your heart in this year. It's about you protecting your kids and your heart. Um, 
uh, it, work is going to be slowed down, but not to worry. It's because you are resolving some sort of an issue and problem. So uh, maybe a lot of you are not taking on extra work and that sort of a thing, but you'll be okay. I do love you. Please like and share these videos. Namaste. Until next time.